remains off today at the St. Andrews Terrace Apartments. This after a gas leak was reported last week. Dozens of families were given the option to leave while crews worked to repair the line. Eleanor Tabone spoke with Columbia Housing about what's going on. Columbia Housing today confirmed that there was a gas leak here at St. Andrew's Terrace Apartments. They found the gas leak on Saturday and they described the gas leak as a T-line gas leak, which is where two gas lines meet at a T-intersection. Ivory Matthews today said that residents weren't forced to leave last Friday. It wasn't a mandatory evacuation, but they were advised. This particular time we wanted to make sure uh, that um, that there were no issues, which is why we, you know, just out of an abundance of caution said, you know, working closely with Dominion to say, uh, you know, can we just disconnect the, the gas flowing to the property um, and just take some extra steps and, you know, just making sure that there are no um, cause for concern. And Ivory Matthews from Columbia Housing says the gas remains off here at St. Andrew's Terrace Apartments and it is unsure at this stage when it will be switched back on. In Columbia, Eleanor Tabone, News 19, WLTX. As Eleanor just mentioned, utilities at the apartments were shut off Friday morning after a tenant reported the smell of natural gas. The Columbia Housing Authority notified residents and gave families the option to voluntarily relocate while crews work to find the source of that gas leak. The agency offered to place families in a hotel for up to five days. Now, if families decided to stay, the agency said it would reimburse any unplanned expenses with a $500 check. 24 families were relocated because of that leak. All of this comes after Columbia firefighters say they've responded to five calls of gas leaks on this property since February. Meanwhile, the Housing Authority says this was the fourth time a resident reported smelling gas since April. Well, millions of dollars.